Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to doodlify your artwork. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. If you're an artist, Doodly is the perfect tool for you. With Doodly, you can create animated videos of your artwork that come to life before your eyes. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over an advanced technique that I like to use with watercolors. Of course, there's no paintbrush in Doodly, so it's not going to be super realistic if you use drawing paths exclusively. That's why I'm going to show you how to create a stencil and work with layers to create an interesting animation. If you're starting from scratch and you haven't painted anything yet, all the better because you could take a series of photos as you paint and then create kind of a time-lapse effect of your artwork being brought to life. Now here's an example of what we're going to do today. Tip preview. And you'll see that the hand sketches out this little outline part. And then I just kind of fade in the colors. And we're going to do something similar with another watercolor painting that's, that's very similar to this one. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is create a new project. So I'm going to go over to my videos, create new video, and let's give it a name. And I'm going to set my resolution to Facebook and Instagram today. I want a square format. And that's because if we go over here, my watercolor painting that I'm going to use is a square. So I've already downloaded it. And before we can do this effect, we need to do some fairly advanced modifications to the image. So I like to use Pixelmator Pro because that's what I have and what I have learned. Um, of course, you can do this in Photoshop or any of those other graphics design programs. What we need to do first is we want to get rid of all this stuff and just have that background. Because if you recall over here, it starts out with just the blank background and then the hand draws that window on. So how do we get that blank background? Well, you're going to take your little cutout tool and you're going to delete it. And so now we have this blank empty space and we need to fill it with this watercolor wash here. So you probably have a clone tool in your graphics design software of choice. So what we want to do is just start cloning these different areas. You can move it around so that you have different colors. Oops. It's going to be a little tedious and it doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, now that I have that, that's going to be fine. It's, it's not going to be on screen super long, so I'm not worried about it looking perfect. I'm going to go ahead and export it. Now, the next thing I need is this part and this part only and in black and white without the color. So how do we do that? Well, we can go to Rapid Resizer. I've shown you this before. It makes a free um, picture stencil maker. So we can upload our image, take just a moment, it does its thing, and we want to try and get just this part, okay? You're gonna have to fiddle with it a little bit to get what you like. This one is a little messier than the other one. That's gonna be okay. I'm gonna try some of these other ones, these other uh, tabs here. See if I like any of them better. There, I like this one. I'm gonna. Just fine tune it just a little bit. It's gonna be kind of a compromise, but I think this is fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it. So if we go over to downloads and open it in preview and under tools, adjust size. This is if you have a Mac, you can do, let's do 180. Oh, it's almost a perfect square. Okay, that's fine. And close that now. Let's rename it. And then I'm just going to move it over to my desktop so it's ready to go. So now we have two files on our desktop. We have the watercolor background and then the little sketch of the window. 
And then the last one that we need is the original one, which is right here, this watercolor painting, okay? And we're ready to upload these to Doodly. Let's take one more look here at this one. I have the wash for one second and it fades on. I have the window for five seconds and that's gonna draw on. And then I have the full image. It's gonna fade on for two seconds, okay? So we wanna recreate that over here in our pink watercolor. So the first thing we do, click props, blue plus sign, and let's drag these in. Here are these. And then I need my final one, which is in a different folder. So let me get that real quick. Now, you're gonna notice something here. That these, this one needs some work. And why? Well, the reason, it's gonna go in the back, sorry. The reason is this white is opaque and that's gonna be a problem because it covers up the little splash of color. We need all of this white to be transparent. So let's delete that. This will be fine. We don't need the white edges because it's just gonna cover it all. That's fine. But let's go back into Pixelmator Pro. So here we are in Pixelmator and we wanna get rid of all this white. Now to do that, you can click your little color picker tool. This will be pretty good. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, we just want an illusion here. Okay, that will be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and export that. Make sure it's PNG. You can also use SVV. Now, if we upload it over here in Doodly, you see it's transparent, and that's gonna be just, just right. It's gonna go in the middle. So the first thing that comes on is the splash of color. Then we're gonna sketch this in, and then we're gonna fade in this color. Now, obviously, they are not lined up yet or sized, so let's just select them all together and get it how we like it. And then while we have them selected, you right click, hit align. And let's do align center. And that should line them all up perfectly one on top of each other, okay? So we're getting there. Let's just take a quick preview and you're gonna see a few things that we're gonna need to change. The scribbling on, that needs to go. The erasing off needs to go that erasing off needs to go and that needs to be a fade okay so those are your default settings that need to be tweaked so click over here settings and erase mode off you want to change the hand now's a good time to do it let's use this one click apply now for the individual items Let's click the first one. I said I wanted to fade it, so we're going to click the pencil icon. And reveal mode, fade. Save and return. I believe we did a one second fade earlier. Let's do this little guy here, the window, and pencil icon. This time we're going to draw. So how would we draw this if we were an artist? Maybe we'd start here and draw this inner square. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm just gonna go down. I'm not gonna worry about being perfect. This is gonna come on really fast. New path, and then we're gonna go up here. Okay, so that looks good. And then on this final image, we're gonna click the pencil icon and we're gonna tell it to fade instead of scribble. And we are just about done. Let's add some time at the end. Say seven seconds. If you'd like to slow down the drawing, you can certainly do that. So let's take it to five seconds. 
and here comes the window and then it just fades on. And there you have it. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching. Bye.